Feeling any better? A little bit. Hmm. Guess what? What? Your grandpa's here. Can't you tell him I'm sick? You are sick. That's why he's here. He'll pinch my cheek. I hate that. Maybe he won't. Hey, how's the sicky, huh? I'll leave you two pals alone. I brought you a special present. What is it? Open it up. A book? That's right. When I was your age, television was called books. But this is a very special book. My father read it to me when I was sick, and I read it to your father, and today I'm going to read it to you. Does it have any sports in it? Are you kidding? Fencing and fighting, revenge and torture, giants, chases, escapes, true love, and miracles. It doesn't sound too bad. It's hard to stay awake for it. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your vote of confidence. Um, let's, let's begin. The Princess Bride by S. Morgenstern, Chapter One. Buttercup was raised on a small farm in the country of Florin. Her favorite pastimes were riding her horse and tormenting the farm boy that worked there. His name was Wesley but she never called him that. Isn't that a wonderful beginning? It's pretty good so far. Nothing gave Buttercup as much pleasure as ordering Wesley around. Farm boy, polish my horse's saddle. I want to see my face shining in it by morning. As the wish. As you wish was all he ever said to her. That day, she was amazed to discover that when he was saying, as you wish, what he meant was, I love you. And even more amazing was the day she realized she truly loved him back. Farm boy, fetch me that kitchen. What is this? Are you trying to trick me? Where are the sports? Is this a kissing book? Wait, just wait. When does it get good? Keep your shirt on, let me read. Wesley had no money for marriage, so he packed his few belongings and left the farm to seek his fortune across the sea. It was a very emotional time for Buttercup. I don't believe this. I fear I'll never see you again. Of course you will. But what if something happens to you? Hear this now. I will always come for you. But how can you be sure? This is true love. Do you think this happens every day? Wesley didn't reach his destination. His ship was attacked by the dread pirate Roberts, who never left captives alive. When Buttercup got the news that Wesley was murdered, 
Murdered by pirates is good. I will never love again. From now, our country will have its 500th anniversary. On that sundown, I shall marry a lady who was once a commoner like yourselves. But perhaps you will not find her common now. Would you like to meet her? Oh, yeah! My people, the Princess Buttercup. <laughs> Buttercup's emptiness consumed her. Although the law of the land gave Humperdinck the right to choose his bride, she did not love him. Despite Humperdinck's reassurance that she would grow to love him, the only joy she found was in her daily ride. A word, my lady? We have but poor lost circuit before. Is there a village nearby? Nothing nearby, not for miles. Then no one will hear you scream. What are you ripping? It's fabric from an army officer of Gilder. Who's Gilder? The country across the sea? The sworn enemy of Florin? Go. <laughs> when the horse reaches the castle, the fabric will make the prince think that the Gildarians have abducted his love. And when he finds her body in the Gildarian frontier, all his suspicions will be confirmed. You never said anything about killing anyone. I've hired you to start a war. That's a prestigious line of work with a long and glorious tradition. I just don't think it's right. Killing an innocent girl. Am I going mad? Or did the word think escape your lips? I didn't hire you for your brains, you hippopotamic landmass. I agree with physics. Oh, the thought has spoken. What happens to her is not of your concern. I will kill her. And remember this. Never forget this. When I found you, you were but a slobbering drunk who couldn't even buy his own brandy. And you, friendless, brainless, hopeless, helpless, come to send you back to where you were, unemployed, in Greenland. At Vinzini, he can fuss. Fuss, fuss. He liked to scream at us. <laughs> Probably he mean no harm. He is very short on charm. What? The great gift for right. <laughs> yes, yes. Some of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that. Nothing. Are there rocks ahead? If there are, we'll all be dead. No more rhymes now. I mean it! Anybody want the peanuts? No! Ah! We'll reach the cliffs by dawn. Why are you doing that? To make sure nobody's following us. That would be inconceivable. Despite what you think, you will be caught. And when you are, the prince will see you all hanged. Of all the necks on this boat, Highness, the one you should be worrying about is your own. 
stop doing that. We can all relax. It's almost over. You would sure nobody follow us? As I told you, it would be absolutely, totally, and in all other ways, inconceivable. No one in Gilder knows what we've done, and no one in Florham could have gotten here so fast. Out of curiosity, why do you ask? I don't know. Suddenly, I just happened to look behind us, and something is there. What? Probably some local fisherman out for a pleasure cruise at night through eel-infested waters. Ah! What? Go in! Get after her! I don't swim. I own the dog paddle. Ah! Veer left! 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 doesn't get eaten by the eels at this time. What? The eel doesn't get her. I'm telling you this because you look a little nervous. I wasn't nervous. Maybe I was a little concerned, but that's different. Because I can stop if you want. No. You could read a little bit more, if you want. Do you know what that sound is, Highness? We're past that, Grandpa. You read that part already. Oh, oh my goodness, I did. I'm sorry. Beg your pardon. All right, all right, let's see. Uh, she was in the water, the eel was coming after her, she was frightened, the eel started to charge her, and then... I wonder if he's using the same wind we are using. Over oh, yes, he's too late. See? The cliffs of insanity! Hurry up! Pull the thing! And that other thing! Move it! We're safe. Only Fessick is strong enough to go our way. Sail around for hours till he finds a harbor. Climbing the rope, and he's gaining on us. Inconceivable! Faster! I thought I was going faster. You were supposed to be this colossus, this great legendary thing, and yet he gains. I'm carrying three people, and he's got only himself. I do not accept excuses. I'm just going to have to find myself a new giant. That's all. Don't say that, Mazzini. Please. Did I make it clear that your job is at stake?
Man in black coming to the cliff. He didn't fall. Inconceivable. I keep using that word. I do not think it means what you think it means. My God, he's climbing. Whoever he is, he's obviously seen us with the princess. I must therefore die. You carry her. We'll head straight for the Gilder frontier. Catch up when he's dead. If he falls, fine. If not, the sword. I want to duel him left-handed. You know what a hurry we're in. Well, this is the only way I can be satisfied. Oh, have it your way. Be careful. People in masks can't be trusted. I'm waiting. Hello there. Slow going? Look, I don't mean to be rude. This is not as easy as it looks. So I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't distract me. Sorry. I do not suppose you can speed things up. If you're in such a hurry, you could lower a rope or a tree branch or find something useful to do. I could do that. In fact, I do have some rope up here. But I do not think you'd accept my help, as I'm only waiting around to kill you. It does be damper on our relationship. But I promise I will not kill you until we reach the top. That's very comforting, but I'm afraid I'll just have to wait. I hate awaiting. I, I could give you my word as a Spaniard. It's no good. I've known too many Spaniards. Don't you know any way you'll trust me? Well, nothing comes to mind. I swear in the soul of my father, Deningo Montoya, you reached the top alive. Throw me the rope. No, 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 wait, wait, wait until you're ready. Again. Thank you. I do not mean to pry, but you don't by any chance happen to have six fingers on your right hand. Do you always begin conversations this way? My father was slaughtered by a six-fingered man. He was a great sword maker, my father. And when the six-fingered man appeared and requested a special sword, my father took the job. He slaved a year before he was done. I've never seen its equal. The six finger man returned and demanded it, but at one tenth of his promised price. My father refused. Without a word, the six finger man slashed him through the heart. I loved my father. So naturally, I challenged his murderer to a duel. I failed. But the six finger man. Buddy, give me these. How old were you? I was 11 years old. 
when I was strong enough, I dedicated my life to the study of fencing. So the next time, I will not fail. I will go up to the six-fingered man and say, Hello, my name is Nego Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. You've done nothing but study swordplay? More a pursuit than a study lately. You see, I cannot find him. It's been 20 years now. I'm starting to lose faith. I just work for Vicini to pay the bills. It's not a lot of money to revenge. Well, I certainly hope you find him someday. Are you ready then? Whether I am or not, you've been more than fair. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to kill you. You seem a decent fellow. I hate to die. Begin. defense on me, ah? Huh? I thought it fitting, considering the rocky terrain. Naturally, you expect me to attack with Capoferro. But I find Tybalt cancels out Capoferro. Don't you? Ha! Unless the enemy has studied his Agrippa. Which I have. You're a wonder. Thank you. It's hard to become so. I admit it. You're better than I am. Why are you smiling? Because I know something you don't know. What is that? I am not offended. <laughs> ha! You're amazing. I ought to be after 20 years. There's something. I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. I must know. Get used to disappointments. Okay. me quickly. I as soon destroy a stained glass window than an artist as yourself. However, I can't have you follow me either. Oh. Understand, I have the utmost respect for you. Inconceivable! Give her to me! Catch up to us quickly. Molado. Finish him! Finish him your way! Oh good, my way. Thank you, Vizini. Which way is my way? Pick up one of those rocks, get behind the boulder, in a few minutes the man in black will come running around the bend. The minute his head is in view, hit it with the rock! Hmm, my way is not very sportsmanlike.
did not on purpose. I didn't have to miss. I believe you. So what happens now? We face each other as God intended. Sportsmanlike. No tricks, no weapons. Skill against skill alone. You mean you put down your rock and I put down my sword and we try to kill each other like civilized people? I could kill you now. Frankly, I think the odds are slightly in your favor at hand fighting. It's not my fault being the biggest and the strongest. I'll even exercise. There was a mighty duel. It ranged all over. They were both masters. Who won? How did it end? The loser ran off alone. The winner followed those footprints towards Gilda. Shall we track them both? The loser is nothing. Only the princess matters. Clearly this is all planned by the warriors of Gilda. We must be prepared for whatever lies ahead. Could this be a trap? I always think everything could be a trap, which is why I am still alive. Oh, it is down to you, and it is down to me. By all means. Keep moving forward if you wish to kill the princess. Let me explain. There's nothing to explain. You're trying to kidnap what I have rightfully stolen. Perhaps an arrangement can be reached? There can be no arrangement, and you're killing her! Really? If there can be no arrangement, then truly we are at an impasse. We are at an impasse. I can't compete with you physically, and you can't compete with my brains. You're that smart. <laughs> Let me put it this way. You ever heard of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates? Yes. Morons. Really? In that case, I challenge you to a battle of wits. For the princess? To the death? I accept! Good. Then pour the wine. <laughs> Inhale this. But do not touch it. I smell nothing. What you do not smell is called Iocane powder. It is odorless, tasteless, dissolves instantly in liquid, and is among the more deadlier poisons known to man. Hmm. There. Where 
is a poison. The battle of wits has begun. It ends when you decide and we drink. And we will find out who is right and who is dead. This is going to be so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know about you. Are you the type of man who would put the poison in his own goblet or his enemy? Now, the clever man would put the poison in his own goblet, knowing that only a great fool would accept that what he was given. I am not a great fool. Therefore, I cannot drink from your goblet. But you knew I was not a great fool and counted on it. Therefore, I cannot drink from my own goblet. You've made your decision then. Not remotely. Everyone knows that Iocane comes from Australia. And Australia is totally peopled by criminals. Criminals are used to not being trusted, as I do not trust you. Therefore, I cannot drink from your goblet. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! Where was I? Australia? Yes, Australia. And you must have suspected I would have known the pattern's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You just stole it like that. You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong, so you could have put the poison in your own goblet, trusting on your strength to save you, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've beaten my Spaniard, which means you must have studied, and in studying you must have learned that man is mortal, so you would have put the poison as far from yourself as possible, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked! You've given everything away! I know where the poison is! The make your choice! I will, and I choose. What in the world can that be? What? Well, I don't see anything. Oh, well, I, I could have sworn I saw something. No matter. <laughs> What's so funny? I'll tell you in a minute. But first, let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. You only think I guess wrong. That's what's so funny. I switched classes when your back was turned, you fool. Come to one of the classic blunders. The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known as this. Never go in against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Who are you? I am no one to be trifled with. That is all you ever need to know. To think. All that time, it was your cup that was poisoned. They were both poisoned. I spent the last few years building up an immunity to Iocane powder. Someone has beaten a giant. There will be great suffering in Gilda if she dies. I was giving you a chance. No matter where you take me, there is no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. He can track a falcon on a cloudy day. He can find you. You think your dearest love will save you? I never said he was my dearest love. And yes, he will save me. That I know. So you admit to me you do not love your fiancé? He knows I do not love him. Are not capable of love is what you mean. I've loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. That was a warning, Highness. Next time my hand flies on its own, from where I come from, there are penalties when a woman lies. Iocane, I bet my life on it. And there are the princess's footprints. She's alive, or was an hour ago. If she is otherwise, when I find her, I shall be very put out. Rest, Highness. I know who you are. You're the dread pirate Roberts, admit it. With pride. 
What can I do for you? You can die slowly, cut into a thousand pieces. Oddly complimentary, Your Highness. Why lose your venom on me? You killed my love. It's possible. I kill a lot of people. And who is this love of yours? Another prince like this one? Ugly, rich, and scabby? No, a farm boy, poor. Poor and perfect. With eyes like the sea after a storm. On the high seas, your ship attacked, and the dread pirate Roberts never takes prisoners. Can't afford to make exceptions. I mean, once word leaks out that a pirate has gone soft, people begin to disobey you. And then it's nothing but work, 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 all the time. You mock my pain! Life is pain, Highness. Anyone who says differently is selling something. I remember this farm boy of yours, I think. This is Walt. Five years ago. Does it bother you to hear? Nothing you can say will upset me. You died well. That should please you. No bribe attempts or blubbering. Simply said, please. Please, I need to live. It was a please that cut my memory. And I asked him what was so important for him. True love, he replied. And then he spoke of a girl of surpassing beauty and faithfulness. I can only assume he meant you. You should bless me for destroying him before he found out what you really are. And what am I? Faithfulness, madam. Your enduring faithfulness. Now tell me truly, when you found out your love was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour, or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mocked me once, never do it again! I died that day! You can die too, for all I care. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh, my sweet Leslie, what have I done? Disappeared. He must have seen us closing in, which might account for his panicking in error. If I am wrong, and I am never wrong, he is headed dead for the fire swamp. Stop true love. All I can do is delay it for a while. I will never die again. There will never be a need. Oh no, no, please. What is it? What's the matter? They're kissing again. Do we have to hear the kissing part? Oh, someday you may not mind so much. Skip onto the fire swamp. That part sounded good. You're sick. I'll humor you. So now, where are we here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Wesley and Buttercup raced along the ravine floor. Ha! The pig fiance is too late. A few more steps and we'll be safe in the fire swamp. We'll never survive. Nonsense! You only say never because no one ever has. (laughs) 
It's not that bad. Well, it's not like I'd like to build a summer home here or anything, but the trees are actually quite lovely. Singed a bit, were you? One thing I will say is the fire swamp certainly keeps you on your toes. This will all soon be but a happy memory, because Robert's ship Revenge is anchored at the far end, and I, as you know, am Robert's. But how is that possible, since he's been marauding for 20 years and you only left me five years ago? I myself am often surprised at life's little quirks. You see, what I told you before about saying please was true. It intrigued Robert's, as did my description of your beauty. Finally. Roberts decided something. He said, all right, Wesley, I never had a valet. You can try it for tonight. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. Three years he said that. Good night, Wesley. Good work. Sleep well. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. It was a fine time for me. I was learning to fence, to fight, anything anyone would teach me. And Roberts and I eventually became friends. And then it happened. What? Go on. Well, Roberts had grown so rich that he wanted to retire. So he took me to his cabin and told me his secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. I inherited this ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you will inherit it from me. The man I inherited from was not the real Dread Pirate Roberts either. His name was Cummerbund. The real Roberts had been retired 15 years and living like a king in Patagonia. Then he explained, the name was the important thing for inspiring the necessary fear. No one would surrender to the Dread Pirate Wesley. So we sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while as first mate, all the time calling me Roberts. Once the crew believed I, he left the ship and I have been Roberts ever since. Except now that we're together, I shall retire and hand the name over to someone else. Is everything clear to you? succeed. We may as well die here. No, no. We have already succeeded. I mean, 
What are the three terrors of the fire swamp? One, the flame spurt. No problem. Two, the lightning sand. But you were clever enough to discover what that looks like, so in the future we can avoid that too. But Wesley, what about the ROUSs? Rodents of unusual size. I don't believe they exist. We did it. Now was that so terrible? Surrender! You mean the wish to surrender to me? Very well then, I accept. I give you full marks for bravery. Stop being a tool! Ah. And how do you plan on capturing us? We know the secrets of the fire swamp. We can live there happily ever after. And if you visit, you will die. For the last time, surrender. Death first. Do you promise not to hurt him? What was that? What was that? We surrender and I go with you. Will you promise not to hurt this man? May I live a thousand years. I never hunt Pokemon again. He is a sailor on the pirate ship Revenge. Promise to return him to his ship. I swear it shall be done. Once we're out of sight, take him back to camp and throw him in the pit of despair. I swear it will be done. I thought you were dead once and it totally bummed me out. I couldn't bear it if you died again. Not when I could save you. Come, sir. We must get you back to your ship. We are men of action. Lies do not become us. Well spoken, sir. What is it? You have six fingers on your right hand. Somebody's looking for you. Where am I? The pit of despair. Don't even think about <laughs> Don't even think about escape. The chains are far too thick. Don't dream about being rescued either. The way in is secret. Only the prince, the count, and I know the way in. Then I'm here till I die? Till they kill you. So then why bother curing me? The Prince and the Count always insist that everybody be healthy before they're broken. So I am to be tortured? I can cope with torture. Don't believe me? You survived the first whoop. You must be very brave. But nobody survives the machine.
She's been like that ever since the fire swamp. It's my father's failing health that's upsetting her. Of course. My father's final words were... You read that wrong. She doesn't marry Humperdinck, she marries Wesley. I'm sure of it. After all Wesley did for her, if she didn't marry him, it wouldn't be fair. Well, who said life is fair? Where is that written? Life is not fair. I'm telling you, you're messing it up. Get it right. Do you want me to go on with this? Yes. Well then, no more interruptions. At noon, she met her subjects, again, this time as their queen. My father's final words were, Love her as I loved her, and there will be joy. I present to you your queen, Queen Buttercup. Why would you do this? Because you had love in your hands, and you gave it up! But they would have killed Wesley if I hadn't done it! Your true love lives, and you marry another. True love saved her in a fire swamp, and she treated it like garbage, and that's what she is, the queen of refuse. So bow down to her if you want. Bow down to the queen of filth, the queen of slime, the queen of pute, trustance. Boo! Boo! Rubbish! Filth! Slime! Muck! Boo! 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 <gasps> it was ten days till the wedding. The king still lived, but Buttercup's nightmares were growing steadily worse. See? Didn't I tell you she'd never marry that rotten Humperdinck? Yes, you're very smart. Shut up. It comes to this. I love Wesley. I always have. I know now I always will. If you tell me I must marry you in ten days, please believe I will be dead by morning. I can never cause you grief. Consider our wedding off. You return to this Wesley, to his ship? Yes. Then we will simply alert him. Beloved, are you certain he still wants you? After all, it was you who did the leaving in the fire swamp. Not to mention that pirates are not known to be men of their words. My Wesley will always come for me. I suggest a deal. You write four copies of a letter. I'll send my four fastest ships, one in each direction. The Dread Pirate Roberts is always close to Florin this time of year. We'll run up the white flag and deliver your message. If Wesley wants you, bless you both. If not, please consider me an alternative to suicide. Are we agreed? Your princess is really a winning creature, a trifle simple perhaps, but her appeal is undeniable. Oh, I know. The people are quite taken with her. It's odd, but when I had Vizzini Fava murdered on our engagement day, I thought that was clever. But it's going to be so much more moving when I strangle her on our wedding night. Once Gilder is blamed, the nation will be truly outraged. They'll demand we go to war. Now, where is that secret knot? It is impossible to find. They're coming down into the pit. Wesley's got his strength back, and I'm starting him on the machine tonight. Oh, Tyrone, you know how much I love watching you work. But I've got my country's 500th anniversary to plan, my wedding to arrange, my wife to murder, and Gilda to frame for it. I'm swamped. Get some rest. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. Beautiful, isn't it? Took me half a lifetime to invent it. I'm sure you've discovered my deep and abiding interest in pain. At present, I'm writing the definitive work on the subject. So I want you to be totally honest with me on how the machine makes you feel. This being our first try, 
I'll use the lowest A. As you know, the concept of the suction pump is centuries old. Really, that's all this is. And instead of sucking water, I'm sucking life. I just suck one year of your life away. I might one day go as high as five, but I really don't know what that would do to you. So let's just start with what we have. And remember, this is for posterity. So be honest, how do you feel? As chief enforcer of all form, I trust you with this secret. Codes from Gilder are infiltrating the thieves' forest and plan to murder my bride on my wedding night. My spy network has heard no such news. Any word from Wesley? Too soon, my angel. Patience. He will come for me. Of course. She will not be murdered. On the day of the wedding, I want the thieves' forest emptied and every inhabitant arrested. Many of the thieves will resist. My regular officers will be inadequate. Form a brew squad then. I want the thieves' forest empty before I wed. It won't be easy, Saya. Try ruling the world sometime. Is everybody out? Almost. There's a Spaniard giving us some trouble. Well, give him some trouble. Move! I am waiting for you, Rizzini. You told me to go back to the beginning. So I have. This is the beginning. This is where I am. This is where I'm going to stay. I will not be moved. Oh, there! I do not budge. Keep your hole there. But the prince gave orders. So did Bazine. And when a job goes wrong, you go back to the beginning. This is where we got the job, so this is the beginning. I am staying until Bazzini comes. You, Brute! Come here! I am waiting for Bazzini. You surely are a meanie. Oh. Hello? It's you. True. You don't look so good. <laughs> you don't smell so good either. Perhaps not. I feel fine. Yeah? Fezik and Inigo were reunited, and as Fezik nursed his inebriated friend back to health, he told Inigo of Vizzini's death and the existence of Count Rugen, the six-fingered man. Considering Inigo's lifelong search, he handled the news surprisingly well. Fezik took great care in reviving Inigo. That's enough! That's enough! Where is this Rugen now? So I may kill him. With the prince in the castle. But the castle gate is guarded by 30 men. How many could you handle? I don't think more than 10. Even 20 for me. Even at my best, I cannot defeat that many. I need Bassini to plan. I have no gift for strategy. Bassini is dead. No. Not for scene. 
I need the man in black. What? Look, he bested you with strength, your greatness. He pressed me with steel. He must have outthought Rossini. And a man who can do that can plan my castle's onslaught any day. Let's go. Where? Find the man in black, obviously. You don't know where he is. Do not bother me with trifles. After 20 years, at last, my father's soul will be at peace. There will be blood tonight! Eyes and report. The thieves' forest is empty. Dirty men guard the castle gate. Double it. My princess must be safe. The gate has but one key. And I carry that. Escort us to Florin Channel. Where every ship in my armada waits to accompany us on our honeymoon. Every ship but your four fastest, you mean? Every ship but the four you sent? Yes, uh, yes, of course. Naturally, not those four. <coughs> your Majesties. You never sent the ships. Don't bother lying. It doesn't matter. Mostly will come for me anyway. You're a silly girl. Yes, I am a silly girl. For not having seen sooner, they are nothing but a coward with a heart full of fear. I would not say such things if I were you. Why not? You can't hurt me. Wesley and I are joined by the bonds of love. And you cannot track that, not with a thousand bloodhounds. And you cannot break that, not with a thousand swords. And when I say you are a coward, that is only because you're the slimiest beagling to ever crawl the earth. I would not say such things if I were you. You're truly lucky, Chuck. And so you might have been truly happy. Not one couple in a century has that chance, no matter what the storybooks say. And so I think no man in a century shall suffer as much as you will. Listen, listen, listen. That is the sound of ultimate suffering. My heart made that sound when Rugen slaughtered my father. The man in black makes it now. The man in black? His true love is marrying another tonight. So who else has cause for ultimate suffering? Excuse me. Pardon me, it's important. Everybody else! Thank you. Where is the man in black? Get there from this grove, yes? Bezek, jog his memory. I'm sorry, Enrico. I didn't mean to jog him so hard. Enrico? Father, I have failed you for 20 years. Now our misery can end. Somewhere, somewhere nearby, is a man who can help us. I cannot find him alone. I need your help. I need you to guide my sword. Please. Just 
is not fair. Grandpa, Grandpa, wait. What did Fezzik mean he's dead? I mean, he, he doesn't mean dead. Wesley's only faking, right? You want me to read this or not? Who kills Humperdink? I don't understand. Who kills Prince Humperdink? At the end, somebody's got to do it. Indigo? Who? Nobody. Nobody kills him. He lives. You mean he wins? Jesus, Grandpa. What'd you read me this thing for? You know, I think you're very sick and you're starting to take the story a little seriously and maybe we should stop. No, 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 no. It's okay. I'm okay. Okay. All right now, let's see. Where were we? Oh yes, in the pit of despair. Well, we Montoyos have never accepted defeat easily. Come, Fezik, bring the body. The body? And have you any money? I have a little. Just hope it's enough to buy a miracle. That is all. What? What? Are you the miracle Max that worked for the king all those years? King stinking son fired me. Hey, and thanks for bringing up such a painful subject. While you're at it, why don't you give me a little paper cut or some lemon juice on it? We're closed. Beat it, I'll call the Brute Squad. I'm on the Brute Squad. You are the Brute Squad. We need the miracle, it's very important. No, I'm retired. Besides, why do you want to hire someone the King's stinking son fired? I might kill whoever you're trying to miracle. Ah, he's already dead. He is. I'll take a look at him. Bring him in. I've seen worse. Sir. Sir. What? We are in a terrible rush. Don't rush me, Sonny. Never rush a miracle man. You get rotten miracles. You got any money? We have 65. I never worked for so little, except for once. But it was a very noble cause. This is noble, sir. His wife. She's a cripple. His children are on the brink of starvation. Are you a rotten liar? I need him to avenge my father's death. Dead these 20 years. Your first story was better. Where's that bellows? He probably owes you money, right? Well, I'll ask him. He's dead. He cannot talk. Oh, look who knows so much. It just so happens that your friend here is only mostly dead. It's a big difference between being mostly dead and all dead. Now open his mouth. Now, mostly dead is slightly alive. Now, all dead, well, with all dead, there's usually only one thing you can do. What's that? Go through his clothes and look for loose change. Hey! Hello in there. Hey, what's so important? What you got here that's worth living for? True love, you heard him. You could not ask for a more noble cause than that. Sonny, true love is the greatest thing in the world. Except for maybe a nice MLT, a mutton lettuce and tomato sandwich, where the mutton is nice and lean and the tomatoes are ripe. They're so perky, I like that. But that's not what he said. What he distinctly said was to blave, and as we all know, to blave means to bluff. So, you're probably playing cards and he cheated. Liar! 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 Not a witch. I'm not a witch, I'm your wife. And after what you just said, I'm not even sure I want to be that anymore. You never had it so good. True love, Max. He said true love, my God! Don't say another word, He's Valerie. afraid. Ever since Prince Humperdinck fired him, his confidence is shattered. Why'd you say that name? You what? promised Humpenic? me you would never say that name. Oh, Humperdinck. Humperdinck, 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 I'm not listening! A life expiring, and you don't even have the decency to say why you won't help. But this is what it has to love. If you kill him, he will stop Humperdinck sweating. Humperdinck, Shut up! Wait, wait! I make him better? Humperdinck suffers? Humiliations galore. Humiliation? Now that's a noble cause. Give me the 65. I'm on the job. Woohoo! That's a miracle pill? 
the chocolate coating makes it go down easier. But you have to wait 15 minutes for full potency. And he shouldn't go swimming after for what? An hour. Yeah, an hour. A good hour, yeah. Storm in the castle. Do you think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Here we go. It's more than dirty. What's the difference? We've got him. Here. We'll have to force feed him. Has it been 15 minutes? We can't wait. The wedding's in half an hour. We must strike in the hustle and the bustle beforehand. Tilt his head back. Open his mouth. How long do we have to wait until we know if the miracle works? Your guess is as good as mine. I'll beat you apart. I'll take you both together. I guess not very long. Why won't my arms move? You've been mostly dead all day. We had Miracle Max make a pill to bring you back. Who are you? Are we enemies? Why am I on this wall? Where's Buttercup? Fill me his plane. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Buttercup is marrying Humper taking a little less than half an hour. So all we have to do is get in, break up the wedding, steal the princess, and make her escape. After I kill Carol. I don't need much time for dilly-dallying. You just wiggled your finger. That's wonderful. I've always been a quick eater. What are our liabilities? There's but one working castle gate. And it is guarded by... 60 men. And our assets? Your brains. Physics strength. My steel. That's it? Impossible. If I had a month to plan, maybe I could come up with something. But this? You just shook your head. That doesn't make you happy? My brains. His steel and your strength against 60 men. And you think a little hedge eagle is supposed to make me happy? Hmm? I mean, if we only had a wheelbarrow, that would be something. Where do we put the wheelbarrow, the albino hat? Over the albino, I think. Why didn't you list that among our assets in the first place? <sighs> what I wouldn't give for a Hogcloth cloak. There we cannot help you. What is that? Where did you get that? And Miracle Maxis. Fits so nice, is there a keeper? Alright, alright, all right. come on, help me up. Now I'm just sword eventually. Why? You can't even lift one. True, but that's hardly common knowledge, is it? Thank you. Now there may be problems once we're inside. Well, I'll see. How do I find the count? What do I do? How do I find you again? What do I find you again? How do we escape? Don't best run. He's had a hard day. Right. Right. Sorry. Then I go. <laughs> I hope we win. You don't seem excited, my little Marvin. Should I be? Brides often are, I'm told. I do not marry tonight. My Wesley will save me. is what brings us together today. Marriage, that blessed arrangement, that dream within a dream. I am the 
the dread pirate Roberts, and there will be no survivors. Now? Not yet. My men are here, and I am here, and soon you will not be here. Now? Light it. Dread Pirate Roberts takes no survivors. All your worst nightmares will come true. Then Wild Twoo will follow you forever. Dread Pirate Roberts is here for your souls. Stay where you are. I, I said stay where you are. So treasure your love. Skip to the end. Have you the ring? Here comes my Wesley now. Fessick, the port coast. Your Wesley is dead. I killed him myself. Then why is there fear behind your eyes? Give us the gate key. Oh, I have no gate key. Fezik, Rick Pizardov. Oh, you mean this gate key. And do you, Princess Bubblecrop? Say man and wife. Say man and wife. Man and wife. Escort the ride to the honeymoon tree. I'll be there shortly. He didn't come. Inigo Montoya, you kill my father. Prepare to die. I can't leave him alone! I'll be right back.
Sorry, Father. I tried. I tried. You must be that little Spanish brat I taught to listen to all those years ago. Simply incredible. Have you been chasing me your whole life only to fail now? There's a shortage of perfect breasts in this world. It'd be a pity to damage yours. Oh, Wesley! Wesley, darling! Gently. Wesley, why won't you hold me? Oh, gently. At a time like this, that's all you can say? Gently! Gently! Are you still trying to win? Hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You will kill my father. Prepare to die. Oh no! Wesley, will you ever forgive me? What hideous sin have you committed lately? I got married. I didn't want to. It all happened so fast. It never happened. What? It never happened. But it did. I was there. This old man said man and wife. Did you say I do? Well, no. We sort of skipped that part. Then you're not married. If you didn't say it, you didn't do it. Wouldn't you agree, Your Highness? A technicality that will shortly be remedied. But first things first. To the death. No, to the pain. I don't believe I'm quite familiar with that phrase. I'll explain. And I'll use small words to make sure that you understand, you warthog-faced buffoon. That may be the first time in my life a man has dared insult me. It won't be the last. To the pain means the first thing you lose will be your feet to below the ankles. Then your hands at the wrist. Next your nose. And then my tongue, I suppose. I killed you too quickly the last time. A mistake I don't mean to duplicate tonight. I wasn't finished. The next thing you lose will be your left eye, followed by your right. And then my ears. I understand. Let's get on with it. Wrong. Your ears you keep, and I'll tell you why. So that every shriek of every child that's seen your hideousness will be yours to cherish. Every babe that weeps at your approach. Every woman that cries out, dear God. What is that thing? will echo in your perfect ears. That is what to the pain means. It means I leave you in anguish, wallowing in freakish misery forever. I think you're bluffing. It's possible, pick. I might be bluffing. It's conceivable, you miserable, vomitous mass. I'm only lying here because I like the strength to stand. Then again, perhaps I have the strength after all.
drop your sword. Have a seat. Tie him up. Make it as tight as you like. Where's Fezzik? I thought he was with you. No. In that case... Help, help him. Why does Wesley need help? Because he has no strength. I knew it. I knew you were bluffing. I knew he was bluffing. Shall I dispatch of him for you? Thank you, but no. Whatever happens to us, I want him to live a long life alone with his cowardice. Oh, there you are. I was at the prince's table, and there they were, four horses. And I thought, there are four of us. So, if we ever find the lady... Oh, hello, lady! So I took them with me. In case we ever bumped into each other. I guess we just did. Fezzik, you did something right. Don't worry, I won't let it go to my head. You know, it's very strange. I have been in the revenge business so long, but now that it's over, I don't know what to do with the rest of my life. Do you ever consider piracy? You make a wonderful dread pirate, Roberts. They rode to freedom, and as dawn arose, Wesley and Buttercup knew they were safe. A wave of love swept over them, and as they reached for each other... What? What? No, it's kissing again. You don't want to hear this. Well... I don't mind so much. Since the invention of the kiss, there have been five kisses that were rated the most passionate, the most pure. This one left them all behind. The end. Now I think you ought to go to sleep. Grandpa? Yes? Maybe you could come over again and read it to me tomorrow. As you wish. <laughs>